wonderful people. Thanks for joining us on this episode again on Hero TV. I'm your humble host, Tonya Inambo. Today's episode is promised to be very, very educative. I have um, a delectable woman, you know, and they're very industrious and both are very humble. She will be talking to the audience of Hero TV, you know, what we need to know about women in politics or what we are supposed to know about women in politics in those states. I think I'll give her the opportunity to introduce herself. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for Antonia. being here with me. Thank you so much. I'm so delighted to be here today. Uh, my name is uh, Mrs. Stella Ali Okurebo. Mm. Uh, I'm from Asan West Local Government Area. Mm -hmm. Born into the family of um, Ali mm -hmm. from Imado Egwari Kuma. Uh, my husband is from Odwan Ogwa, okay. Mr. Tom Okurebo, mm -hmm. which is presently here with me today. But today we want to look at um, women in politics in those states, especially, you know, what is happening presently. And we also discovered that you are inspiring to be one of the local government chairperson. So before we delve into that, so let's look at women in politics in those states. How effective do you think it takes? Are there really women there? During the Obaseki first tenure, we empowered a lot of women. Mm. So I was also among those that were given mm -hmm. an opportunity okay. to serve. But um, looking at how the women have been playing politics, because during the time of election, we mostly see women. Yeah. You know, and then I watched over the years, these women will come out. All they do is to just come and dance, clap their hands. At the end of the day, politicians will give them a bag of rice. <laughs> Rappers, mm -hmm. tomatoes, and all that. And you see them fighting just for a cup of rice. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is, it's not supposed to be like that. Mm -hmm. Women in politics, I discovered that um, they are not even thinking of the future. Mm -hmm. They only think about the next election. Mm -hmm. Immediately after election, everybody goes into their house. Nobody is talking about how can we impact our children, how can we impact our environment, our mm -hmm. local government. Mm -hmm. Knowing fully where that uh, the, the reason why people play politics is to bring dividends to mm -hmm. their people at the grassroots. Mm -hmm. So I stepped in and um, I came up with the idea of this NGO Excellent Women Association of Nigeria, A1. Mm -hmm. And then um, we started from there. From World 1 to 10, we were able to bring in women over 2,000 women and then tell them the truth why they should play politics mm. why are they playing politics we have the old we have the young different categories mm. of women in our midst now if any old person comes out to play politics that person may not be playing it for her own sake mm -hmm. it should be for the sake of the children mm. you know so we I try to enlighten them to sensitize them that then um, come out uh, we should stop this and uh, rice and the rapper thing that we are doing that then uh, we should try and support the right candidate also we came up with the slogan excellent to men peace and good governance mm -hmm. we believe in good governance the NGO mm -hmm. we believe in supporting uh, any candidate that we come and um, bring development and infrastructure mm -hmm. for our people. Mm -hmm. And more so, we should also continue in our local government from our, where our father mm -hmm. stopped, mm -hmm. Professor Angus mm -hmm. So this is the idea I came up with. Okay, that was where you started with the local government. That is where I started with the grassroots. With the grassroots. Yes, the women at the grassroots level. Mm -hmm. And in the course of our discussion, I also make them to know that um, I see women Maybe in a gathering, maybe uh, in, a, in a meeting, women don't talk. Mm -hmm. Always relegated to the back. Why? And we have women with great ideas. Mm -hmm. Without these women, things cannot be done. Mm -hmm. Election cannot be won in the local government. Mm -hmm. I, I, I tell you, the, the next election, you should come to my local government mm -hmm. and see how women turn out in their numbers. Mm -hmm to support a candidate that they believe in, mm -hmm. a candidate that will change mm -hmm. their story. Mm -hmm. you know? And then I took them around to several schools. Most of our children, they sit on the bare floor. Mm -hmm. Most of the schools are not fenced. Mm -hmm. No water, no good toilet. You know? And I told them, can rice or rapper solve this problem? Mm -hmm. No. And above all, 
you should come out and speak. This time, uh, not being having confidence in ourselves mm -hmm. uh, has really derailed us. So we should be able to do away with a, a lack of confidence and come out to speak the truth, mm -hmm. come out to aspire, come out to take the book again. Mm -hmm. I think so far this is what my NGO mm -hmm. and the organization have been doing for the women. And uh, in East and West today, uh, most of my leaders will bear me witness Mm. Through my NGO, we have been able to change this narrative, See. their mentality. Wow. Yeah. That is a very good start. In fact, that really explains everything. So I, I can see where you're coming from and I can see how you're able to relate with those, um, with those women. Now, let's take a look at this. That um, as you're aspiring to be one of the local, that the Asian West local government chairperson, and if elected, how will you be able to um, affect everyone, reach out to everyone, touch every life? Hmm. Uh, being the local government chairman is an opportunity or me aspiring to be the local government chairman is an opportunity my people want to give to me to serve okay. and just like I always say uh, when given the opportunity to be the local government chairman it is not an office of pride mm. it is not an office for selfish interests, mm. it is an office to reach out to your people, mm. you know, to bring development to your people. Mm. This office gives you opportunity to knock on doors and it will certainly be opened unto you because you have the power, you have the mandate of the people mm. to bring good things to them. Mm. And then, if I'm given the opportunity to serve as the local government chairman, there are 1,001 things I want to do for my people. Uh, over the years, I think people believe in uh, building BB companies, be bringing in things uh, that are not even on the reach of the local government. I think I have stayed with my people. I live with them. All we need because I'm part of them, mm. even if I'm aspiring. Mm. All we need are basic amenities. Mm. Things that we can reach out daily. Mm. You know, one, like the water. Yeah. Like people need water. So it's how we need, need water. We need water. How will you work on that project? Uh, because uh, it's not an easy one. Well, depending on the area they are looking, it, looking at it from, okay. I have looked at it. Mm. I have consulted mm. and uh, I think uh, it's not a big deal actually mm. bringing water to Ekoma because then uh, when you get to Ekoma now you see some few houses that have bubble yeah. and then uh, if we can get water from the ground mm. I see no reason why we cannot bring water to Ekoma. We have the dam there, mm -hmm. the GDP dam. Mm -hmm. We also have the AAU dam. Mm -hmm. With the AAU have water where water tanker go to buy water mm -hmm. and we have communities that are close to the AAU, mm -hmm. like the Irek Men, mm -hmm. you know, Ihemodumo and so on. And then given the opportunity to be the local government chairman, the first thing I will do I will collaborate with the AAU. Mm. Because they are in a local government. Mm. And this school uh, was placed there or has been there to reach out to the people. Mm -hmm. So the the AAU and Bosali University should be able to contribute. Mm -hmm. You know, because without the students in Epoma, mm -hmm. businesses will be mm -hmm. shut down. Yes. Now if you build a house, just a room, somebody will rent it. Mm -hmm. You know? So we we should do everything together mm -hmm. to make sure that the people that are coming to Ekoma are very comfortable. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that will make them comfortable is water. Mm -hmm. And now we look at how the local government will collaborate with the AAU, mm -hmm. bring in an engineer. Mm -hmm. There is water in the dam there. Buy pipes, bring experienced people to channel this water to the closest community. Mm -hmm. We could start from Ujeme. Mm. Because Ujeme is in the center, mm. it's between Irekme and Idilebo. Mm. Mm. 
then we cannot take this water to Ujeme. Mm. And again, during my uh, work tour, I, I told each community, each community have a cause, mm -hmm. they keep. Mm -hmm. And they were very happy mm -hmm. to be part of it, so that they can have water. Mm -hmm. They said, whatever it will take us to have water, we are ready to contribute, mm -hmm. you know, to be part of it, so that this thing, uh, water thing will be of history. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very easy for us to take water from the university, mm -hmm. Uh, to Ujeme, Irekme, mm. Itumebo, mm. mm. Okay, let's say uh, from um, the town which is Egwari is a bit far. Mm. You know, we cannot take water from the Ugedepe. Mm. If you go to Ugedepe today, the water tankers, people are building individual waterhead tank. Mm. They don't go straight to the source to take water again. Mm. They pump it to their overhead tank mm -hmm. and their tanker is on the road. Mm -hmm. They take water from there. Yeah. And I have asked question because there's a slope and there's a hill. Mm -hmm. On each hill you put a tank there mm. to pump the water. Mm -hmm. So we keep pumping the water till you get to a mm. And as we know water river don't get dry. Mm -hmm. The only mistake we will not make is to take water from the head of the river so we will not have over flooding. Okay. You know, so we have done this research. Mm -hmm. These are the major things our people need. Yeah. And again, the market has been neglected for too long. Mm -hmm. We want to fix the market. Okay, the Ekoma market. market. The market, the Ekibaiki. So which, how many market the Ekoma uh, actually we, have? Uh, we have two. We have the Ekibaiki and the one at the Express. Okay. We have two Yeah, the, I know, I think I'm aware of the one at the Express. Yes. Okay. So the one at the Express, we also have the motor park there. Okay, where they yes. Where they move the yes. drivers, yes. Yes. drivers and all that. Okay. We've moved it there. So we'll discuss on that when we get to how do we generate revenue. Mm -hmm. But now we are talking about how, what are the things our people need. Mm -hmm. Our people need water. Mm -hmm. Water, especially water. Yes, light. But I think the state Light is, is a general thing. Yeah, it's a general thing. In Nigeria. But this basic thing, water, mm -hmm. that we keep facing every year, should I, in my time, by the grace of God, mm -hmm. to be a thing of the past. Show my people that. Mm. All right. So um, the last question, the one, the question before the last one, I want to ask now is, you know, if elected, how do you intend to generate revenue or the old ways of generating revenue? Do you think is okay? Is this sustainable? So how do you think do you generate revenue to fund the project you just said uh, narrated to us? Uh, well, uh, the old ways of generating revenue cannot be eradicated. Mm -hmm. We will still follow it. But I have my own ideas mm -hmm. on how to generate revenue. Mm -hmm. New ways of generating revenue. Mm -hmm. you know, we, we want to add to it mm -hmm. so that then whatever thing that is coming from the state, mm -hmm. we can have additional from the okay. local government. Okay. So that this project I have just mentioned, the sanitation, mm -hmm. building the market places. Mm -hmm. The water and, uh, projects. Putting facilities for our people to enjoy mm. can be achieved. Okay. So subsequently, maybe in my next interview, interview. I will disclose how yeah. uh, new ways of generating revenue in okay. East Coast can All right. be okay. achieved. All right. So let's go to the last question now. You know, politicians everywhere. It's difficult to trust people. You know, when they are contesting for election, they can make any kind of promises, you know. Now, I want to ask this question. Why do you think after electing people into power, all of a sudden they will turn deaf ear to the people and neglect all their promises? Oh, um, well, everybody is not the same. Mm. Everybody don't have the same way of doing things or same mentality. Mm. Just like I have introduced myself before. Mm. I'm, uh, I'm an Ali. Mm. And um, uh, the standard that my father, my uncle, mm. has placed down, mm. I really want to go below that standard. Mm. Never. And again, being an Ali uh, gives me uh, uh, a mind mm. uh, to be open to people. Mm. It's not because I'm contesting mm. that I'm like this. 
It's not because I'm contesting that is making me to uh, uh, associate with people. Mm -hmm. This has just been me, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, by the grace of God, I will remain me even when elected into office. Mm -hmm. My doors will be open. Mm -hmm. My office will be open mm -hmm. because I'm one person that is open to correction. Mm -hmm. When you correct me, I take it. When you advise me, mm -hmm. I take it. And um, uh, those uh, uh, people you said they, they, they close their door mm -hmm. after being elected, mm -hmm. where I don't know that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm speaking for myself as an ally. Okay. I show my people that the legacy that they left behind build upon that legacy okay. by the grace of God yeah. and my people will be very very proud of me all right okay, okay so you see you are assuring us that even the promises the campaign promises we are still will still go ahead and affect everything certainly yes so that is more important mm -hmm. all right so that is all we can take out of today episode on hero TV I'm so glad to have you join me you know to talk about very important issue happening in Edo State that is Esa West. I'll be talking to oh, yes. Mrs. Stella Ali Okurebo. You know, I think, um, I, like I said before we started, that it's going to be an educative package and you really enjoyed everything we discussed today. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Till I come you. your way again. Bye bye.